I love the smell of lightsabers in the morning. Smells like victory. Someday this series is gonna end. Hello and welcome back to Kenshi Does Star Wars. So Jar Jar Beep and Han Insel were out filming and I got a notification. The elite hunter assault is targeting our base. And it's good news. It means the Empire, the Galactic Empire is actually attacking us back. All right. We're back. Elite Hunter Assault has arrived at our outpost. There we go. Thought you could outrun your past, did you? As long as I'm getting paid a fat stack of credits, that ain't happening. So we have Nova Troopers from the Imperial Fog Division here. They're actually quite, well, relatively strong. And there you go, they're going to attack. No, come here, fight me, fight me. Have to attack unprovoked with Jar Jar Beep. Wow, that guy looks a bit like a ninja. Right, let's bring the overlay back up. Who is he? Njopre Strummar, Elite Imperial Fog Division. Pretty fucking strong guy. Let's have a look, see what he has on him. We loot him. All oh, right, yeah, he's the leader. Nice helmet. I do love a good helmet. What else have these guys got? So we have these rebel tokens, which you use for research in rebel armor. I've actually managed to do all that already. You get them off stormtroopers too. So we're all rebel armored researched out. And the other dude, along with some <laughs> servants and some river raptors, he would have been shot as he made his way in here. No, they've just stood there. Okay, I don't know why they're holding that. One thing I do know, though, is I'm not going to send Han Incel in there to get shot at if we start shooting these dudes. There you go. That's the defense at work. Boom. Dead. The Hunter Assault beaten. What I have been doing for training, I've been taking people when we uh, destroy them. 
coming back to the base. Oh, we've already got a cage full of these people. And then that helps if we do sneaking around the base. Now what you can usually do, I've got the prisoner recruitment mod. Once you get rid of everyone's weapons, you can talk to them. And then you can recruit them. But I don't think these guys are remotely interested in any of that. Ooh, this guy needs first aid. Let's give him some first aid. The old enemies we have here are Bandit, Dust Bandit. I could talk to him and I could probably recruit him as well, but yeah, I'm not going to do that. So, yes, after that little distraction, the whole aim of this episode is going to be join the Rebel Alliance and maybe do a mission or two, see how we can help take out the Empire. We've got our army here, and I've also picked up a lost drone who I still have on training. So I'm going to run back now. Basically, he was walking around the outside of my base, and I felt a bit sorry for him. He was hungry and starving. And then finally, a bone dog came and attacked him and was starting to eat him. So I went and rescued him, put him in a cage, and then recruited him. And now Jar Jar Beep's got a friend. Yeah, I just couldn't leave him alone. I've trained him up to about 50 in most stats, and I have other training going on for him. Let's go to the Rebel Alliance Recruitment Center, wherever that may be. I think there's one at the hub. Good thing about having the droids on the turrets, I can just leave the base alone now. Don't even have to care. And I've also got the droids because they're standing guard here as well. They're set to hold, so if anything actually gets through the doors, they start blasting away. And then, of course, we have W1 and W2 who are well trained up. And everyone in our army has masterwork, this, that and the other. So, yeah, they got the best that can be built. Good day to you, madam. We'd like to join the Rebel Alliance. The more the merrier, however, be aware that any Imperial forces would attack you on sight. Yeah, they're already doing that. They're not messing around. It also costs you 15 thousand. Fucking, what's this signing on for you? I really disagree with this. Is there an ombudsman I can complain to? However, you do get several benefits from it, including our protection. Are you certain? Yes, please, sign me up. Welcome to the Alliance. Okay, now what? <laughs> They saw me coming, didn't they? Like, come on, what can you do for us? All right, you can buy faction gear. <gasps> this is probably stuff I've already stolen. Oh, good. So it acts as a little shop. It's like the National Trust. A rebel Trooper vest. Some pants. Marine backpack. Some boots. Loads of different guns. It looks like they prefer the DLT-20A rifle. Some helmets. And some food. Okay, right. I'm not feeling I'm getting value for my 15,000 cats. At least they only charge me once and it's not per person. Imperials are tough. Any tips for dealing with them? You've entered a war, mister. Don't wander around on your own. That's the best advice I can give. Oh, and military squads in the field may choose to join you. That'll probably help. Okay. I'm not really feeling the benefits at the moment. And there's no missions being given to us at all. Where's Leslie? We've lost Leslie. Oh, you silly goose, Leslie. She didn't leave with everybody else. She got stuck somewhere. Oh, she's proper stuck as well. We're going to have to send in a rescue team. Welcome, Welcome to, to Kenji. Kenji. Let's pick her up. All right, go join your friends, Leslie. And let's get this door closed. So I suppose we want to go to a rebel town or stronghold and see what's going on there. There's a rebel stronghold here, which is a bit of a distance. And the only other nicely coloured pink one is Drin. I think maybe we need to go over there. It's either that or just go around fucking up the Empire. Quite an interesting recording evening tonight. My partner's staying away for work for a number of uh, days. I'm on my own with a child. She started crying that there was a fly in her room and got very distraught. Went in with a vacuum, but the fucker went and hid behind a curtain. I have a feeling within ten minutes it's going to pop its head out and she'll be screaming again. We'll see. I'm also on the cusp of a cold. I've got a really sore back of the throat, and I know something nasty is in the post. Hopefully it's not too bad, but I am quite far ahead with recordings and uploads. I've got a few weeks to recover if things go wrong. So Kenchi 2 is in the works when it's actually going to happen though. Nobody knows. So Kenchi was made by one guy originally. I think he may have got some people on towards the end of it. But yeah, one guy. Really impressive fucking game. I really love Kenchi. It's like open world and you can just 
lose many an hour in the game. And it's the ambience of the whole thing, the wind you have growing in the background. Usually you have some kind of music as well. But with this mod, it's got Star Wars music. I don't want to risk a copyright strike or violation, so I've turned that off for now. But yeah, just tinkering. I mean, getting your army ready, getting them all armoured. It's organisation, I suppose. I love that. Just getting everything organised and ready to go. War is about logistics and killing people, of course, but mainly logistics. If you don't have the logistics sorted out, and you're going to have uh, troubles winning any war. There we go, just running through the Galactic Empire's town there. They didn't even bat an eyelid. No, uh, relations with the Galactic Empire have decreased. That took its time. We spoke to that lady a while ago. <laughs> How delayed is that? It's probably been about 10, 15 minutes. Good. We've caught up with Leslie. Next time, try not to get stuck behind a bed. That's the weak point of any Jedi, I hear. Put two beds in front of them and they're fucked. They can't move. And the dream team are back together. Let's continue our march. So we go over to Drin. If we can get something there, that would be good. If we can't, I think there's probably one or two more rebel places. There's definitely this place in the Ashlands. Or on the border of the Ashlands we can go and talk to. It's a bit near Skin Bandit territory, but yeah, we get there. Ooh, a Hive Acclaimed Armoury. I think there may even be one in the actual Ashlands too. Yeah, there is Rebel Ash Outpost. And uh, I think this is the big bad boss in this one, Crosag's Exile. I've heard it mentioned. I think I've taken a screenshot if I have. Editor, and by editor I mean future me. If you can bring that up show what they say about it i mean going back to my atmosphere look at this beautiful the wind the sand blowing skimmers going around eating everything and the sunrise too and the sunsets and the skies and the moons just amazing has to be one of my top games ever made. If you look at the amount of days I've spent in it as well, 542. <laughs> uh, most of the videos you see on YouTube are, I did this in 100 days, whereas me, oh no, I did this in 542 days. And there are guides on how to cheese things and how to get stats up. I mean, my cheesing it was I built the advanced training dummies and I've got everyone trained up like that. But yeah, there are guys where you can pretty much level someone up within like 10, 20 days and get them really highly specced out. I can't remember the dude's name. But yeah, there is one guy that's the authority on it and he's got loads of videos on how to improve. I think the whole armor building process as well that took a while because you have to have the guy the robot the droid i have trained up on it to actually be able to do it if we go to any of these guys everything is masterwork so i did look into building galactic as well stormtrooper armor there's loads of different armors there is there's loads of different battle armors where are we rebel battle armor rebel elite battered up battle armor padded armor clone armor and there's like three or four different sets of clone armor and there's recon armor as well marine armor different marine armor obese armor ubies however you pronounce that but yes i looked into them and compared to the jedi armor they're a bit better, they're a bit stronger, but the debuffs, they're so big. As in your shooting, as in how well you shoot. Pretty fucking shitty. Wow. I've not seen this before. Right, we have to take these guys out. Now, we could do it one or two ways. All our guys, or most of our guys, they have good precision shooting and ranged weapons. And by good, I mean up to 65. Much past 65, and then it takes ages to train them up. Vote now. What do you think I should do? Lightsabers or guns? Guns. I'm going to do guns. Right, let's get everyone lined up. And let's hope people don't shoot each other. And let's hit F7. Make it cinematic. And then F2. Here we go. Cut them down. Yeah, the thing is, when I do this, I can't see what damage we're taking. Yeah. 
Are you even taking hits? Yes, you are. Good. Right. And now, for the last group, let's take off ranged. We're going to lightsaber these mofos. That guy's arm's fucked. He's just got up, so he can't use his gun. Whereas these guys... Let's go in front of them before we get shot down. What are they shooting at? They're not shooting at us. Yeah, stormtroopers, they're not particularly brilliant at the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Well, there you go. We helped some rabble marines there. Yeah, it's amazing. When I was younger and I had pillow fights or cushion fights with my brother, soft furnishings. You'll have, have someone's, someone's eye out for that. that. Was these guys swinging their double-bladed lightsabers around and, yeah, no one gets a scratch. Down to the end. Oh, wow, there's loads of them around here. What have we got? got this, these dudes over here. They're green when we hang over, over them. Is there some fighting going on there? Nope. Okay, this is a rebel area. Right, I need to put the overlay back on, otherwise I can't do anything. Let's get back to sneaking. Let's go to the map. All right, so they're showing us pink, the guys that can help us. And let's continue on to Drin. That lovely sounding town. Scunthorpe of Kenchi. We've arrived. Pretty piddly fucking wall and there's no one guarding it. Right, first things first, let's go to the police. They're all a fucking sleep on the job. Cheese and crackers. Oop, here's one. Let's go and talk to her. Ah, there you go, jackpot. Yes, sir, how can I help you? I'm a bounty hunter looking for work. Well, the alliance usually doesn't work with bounty hunters, but... I fucking paid my 15,000, you better work with me. There are certain high-value Imperial targets you can bring to us. Yeah, this is what we want specifically. We're looking for higher-ups, commanders and such. If you catch them, bring them here, but I guess we can reward you for criminals too, if you prefer to stay neutral. Is that all she's going to say as she slowly skulks off the bed? Okay, I'm feeling cheated here. do 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 Yes, once I heard a lady playing that to her child in a pram, and it was Vivaldi Spring, I think it is. And I was about to say to her, walking past her on the street, Oh, Vivaldi, lovely. And then it turned out she's on hold, claiming her benefits. Hello there, madam. I'd like a refund on my joining fee. It feels like there's no actual real benefit. The Empire are bigger than you. They have more of an army. And you're not even giving me any jobs. It's just the same, isn't it? I think it's time we go to a rebel stronghold. Let's take a trip over here. I mean, look at this. What the hell is this? Something weird, space-like, mechanical almost. Like giant spider legs or something coming out of the sand. Useful. What's unknown? I want to go to unknown. Could be a rebel base. That's rebel by the looks of it. That's good. Yes. General Sortina. Perfect. Look at that bounty, 150,000. Half tempted to switch sides here. Now she has pretty much got to have something for us. Let's go and talk to her. Welcome to the rebellion. Oh good, there's loads of dialogue options here. <laughs> General Sotina, I can bring you in warm, I can bring you in cold. Oh wow, aren't you this planet's rebel leader? That's me. What can I do for you? You're a Twi'lek? Ah, yes. You surprised? We're all in this together, regardless of our origins. Okay, fair enough. So I can either bring her in or destroy the slave traders. Don't we all? But they've got a lot of powerful allies. The traders' guilds, the huts. Oh, wow, the huts here. And the empire. The nobles are the ones controlling the peasants, running the stone camps and using people like tools. But we can't just run in fist blazing, we need to fight tactically, sneakily, we need to starve them out, deprive them of their precious credits, and make them pay in blood. And how do we do that? With our fists, pow pow smash. Okay, I mean, how <laughs> strict. <laughs> oh, she's obviously a master of Sun Tzu there. Okay, I mean, but how strategically? Oh well, by pushing out their farmers, they've become dependent on their slaves. So we need to cut down the masters, starting with the camps. 
that will diffuse the most damage. For the capital, that would be their main source of food. The slave farm in Heng and their personal flow of income from the South Stone Camp. See Longin pay his way out of that. Okay, so Heng and South Stone Camp. Any other weaknesses? Longin and Kana are the main brains behind all slaver activity here on Cathan. There'd be a good couple of nobles to start on once we've hit their main supply camps in Heng. Can I get some aid? Big Bow's our front line. Share help you round up allies if she deems you're a worthy enough fighter for her help. You can find her in Black Scratch. Got it. Thanks for the info. So we need to go find Big Bertha in Black Scratch. We have somewhere to be going to. Good. They've given us some people and they've given us a uh, Jedi Master to follow us. How good's that? I like this. Right, let's head to Black Scratch and see how many of them we can get killed on the way. General Sotina's following us here as well. Maybe I should go a bit slower. I don't really want her to die to some random spider or something. Come on, keep up, love. Here she is. Attack 100, defense 100, strength. She's got an artificial leg. Yeah, she's a bit of a beast really, isn't she? Can I knock her out? Nope, not even with the best assassination skill. 82. Wouldn't even scratch her. She is a beast. Not so good at stealth though, and that's the problem of her armour. We're not going to see what it is, because we're never going to take her down. Right, it's going to Black Scratch. Let's find Big Bertha. Now, if you were Big Bertha, where would you hide? Right, so I found somebody from the Rebel Alliance, and that's Bo. So let's go and talk to her. So you're new fella, huh? Wow, how about we have some fun together? You Ah, uh, Big Bo, not Big Bertha. You're Big Bo, but you're so small. <laughs> no thanks, I don't swing that way. Yeah, looks can be deceiving, Hanin, so I got a big bite for a little bark, so we're going to find some action. No thanks, don't swing that way. What do you mean? You, me, our fists, our swords, how about we go tenderize some slaver meat? Don't let me down, now you got a big reputation to live up to. Let's go. Wow, don't let me down, hand in cell. Oh, she's joined my team. What are her stats like? She's good at thieving. Pretty shit at everything else. Shit, she needs to go through our training program. Good at medic and robotics. Well, it's good that we get someone new that's human. Maybe if we can't find Princess Leia, she can be our uh, <clears throat> person for a bit of fun every now and then. Who's shooting at her? Let's see how she gets on. Are you Rebel Alliance? No, Adventurers League. How are we doing with those people? Are we friendly with them? We kind of are. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Has she been kidnapped? We'll let her be kidnapped and then we're sending Han Insel to get her back. Go Han. Oh shit. Run. Before they spot the prison escape. I think what I'm going to do, run all the way back to the base, get her equipped, start getting her trained a little, then come back, and then the next episode we do the slaving. That's probably going to be the most sensible thing to do, because, yeah, she doesn't have good toughness at all or anything like that. Wow, 60,500. Spires in 99,000 hours. Not too long, then. Yeah, I mean, she's just going to take a few shots and die, pretty much. So we need to get her trained up before we go attacking the slavers. And then at the start of the next episode, we go over to Hang and then we do the South Slavers Village. So I've got another hour or two of watching her train up. But yeah, that's what I enjoy doing. Get her all armoured up and get her ready to go. That's what I love about this game. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. It's appreciated. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And drop me a comment if you like Kenshi. Why not, eh? Helps with the algorithm, I believe. Bye-bye.